Hey guys, in this entry to the Roller Coaster Project construction log, we will be machining our first support in our miniature working model roller coaster. Here we're using the TAG CNC mill to machine bass wood. We've already spotted the holes and now we're drilling them through. The bottom two holes that you just saw being cut were for our foundation. Here we're cutting a profile with a 3 16 by 1 8 inch carbide end mill. The problem we were having with this is that we don't have an appropriate end mill for cutting wood. More of a down cutting end mill is needed. Basically what happens is too much wood particles get caught up in the flutes and doesn't give you as smooth of a cut. Now we'll begin cutting out pockets, which will reveal the cross member, which applies lateral support to our bend. Basically, it'll make our frame a lot stronger, more rigid. And since this was our first attempt, it took way too long. I mean, almost an hour and a half to do the entire process which is unacceptable, so we're going to step it up to a larger end mill later. Now you can see the bent taking shape. This will actually be the highest point in the station where the cars will be released. Now that it's finished, we can remove it from the holding tabs. We're going to use our Dremel tool as a router. If you guys have been following along, you know we can't find a use for the Dremel whatsoever. It was not a very good purchase. However, we decided to use it and, of course, we ended up breaking part of the foundation at the very bottom, if you could see. So since this bent went to waste, we decided to test out how we're going to secure the track brackets. We decided to use blind rivets. Here you can see an aluminum blind rivet. It has a smaller expansion than on the other side of the bent are steel and aluminum rivets. The steel applies more pressure and has greater expansion. So this design didn't quite work. We will be trying a new alternative, which will be very similar to Rocky Mountain construction. This right here is us cutting our axle slash alignment pins for our aluminum roller coaster cars. Right here we're parting Now that our axles have been parted and drilled, we can assemble the car. Notice our wheels sitting right next to it. These wheels are 8mm in diameter with an inner diameter of 3mm. Notice how it will snugly fit into the car. Thank you for watching our entry 
and please subscribe and like this video. If you have suggestions that can help the biggest little roller coaster work, leave a comment below because we'd love to hear from you.